Hi, friends. Um, so I actually uh, forgot that we had a lesson today. So I was just, I, I just was such a nice, it was nice weather. And I really, the fire sounded lovely, crackling and just such a lovely evening. And then, you know, oh my goodness, it's starting to rain now. Getting a little thick here, the hail. And I just, I, I'm so sorry. I just was not, oh, hey everyone. Hey, my name is Mr. Brian and it's not actually raining. I did not forget about this lesson. While possible, it, it did not happen today. Today is gonna be all about the art of Foley, right? Can we say that word, Foley? Foley. Foley. Very nice. And before we get started, um, I just want to uh, introduce myself and my friends that are here with me today before we go in depth. So my name is Mr. Brian and my pronouns are he and him. And just say uh, maybe one word, how are you feeling today? So I'm feeling energized. And I'm gonna pass it off to <laughs> Miss Anna. Hi, my name is Miss Anna. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm feeling bubbly. And I'm gonna pass it to Miss Tierra. Greetings, I'm Miss Tierra. I use she and they, and I'm feeling ready. Let's go to Miss Madison. My name is Miss Madison. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I'm feeling, ooh, ooh. It's just a noise, but that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Miss Melissa. <laughs> my name is Miss Melissa. My pronouns are she, her, and I feel pressed. Thank you, thank you. And today is gonna to be all about the power of sound and what that means, not just our voices, also very important, but what it does to the stories that we create, that we layer in. It's a little bit of emotion and texture and just building that environment of the story. But right now, before we do anything else, I want us to think, I want us to take that word, take, take, let me rephrase that. I want you to take your name now and give yourself an alliteration, give yourself an alliteration. So for example, for example, mine would be bouncing Brian. All right. And I'm going to repeat that one more time, bouncing Brian. And yes, Miss Melissa. So Mr. Brian, is alliteration, does that mean you just use the same letter as your, as your name? It does, it does. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And um, now I just, um, oh, so Bouncing Brian. Can I have you all repeat that? Bouncing, bouncing Brian. Brian. All right. And I want you to take a second right now and think of an alliteration for your own name anything at all. Let's take like five seconds. Go with that first thought. Got it at home? Cool. All right. And now I'm going to just go around in the circle. I'll go the other way. Miss Madison. Mad Madison. <laughs> and let's all repeat. Mad Madison. Mad, Mad Madison. Madison. And Miss Melissa, would you like to go next? Magical Melissa. Magical, Magical Melissa. Melissa. And Miss Tierra. Tropical Tierra. Tropical, Tropical Tierra. Tierra. And Miss Anna. Anxious Anna. <laughs> Anxious, Anxious Anna. Anna. Awesome. And now we're going to use our voices and what we remember. And let's just get to know each other even a little bit better here. So what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to start, say mine, and I'm going to pass it to someone else. So for example, I'm going to say bouncing, Brian, anxious, Anna. Anxious, Anna, magical, Melissa. Magical, Melissa, tropical, Tierra. Tropical Tierra, Mad Madison. Mad Madison, Bouncing Brian. Bouncing Brian, Magical Melissa. 
magical Melissa, anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, tropical Tierra. Tropical Tierra, magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, mad Madison. Mad Madison, anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, bouncing Brian. And pause. And now I want to speed it up. So it's just a little bit faster. There's a rhythm in this already and we're already bouncing and feeling it. So see if you can keep speeding it up, not just speeding it up now, but receive it, send it like that. Bouncing Brian, magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, tropical Tierra. Tropical Tierra, anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, mad Madison. Mad Madison, anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, bouncing Brian. Bouncing Brian, tropical Tierra. Tropical Tierra, magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, bouncing Brian. Bouncing Brian, magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, mad Madison. Mad Madison, tropical Tierra. <laughs> tropical Tierra, mad Madison. Mad Madison, tropical Tierra. <laughs> tropical Tierra, mad Madison. Mad Madison, bouncing Brian. <laughs> bouncing Brian, mad Madison. Mad Madison, Magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, Anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, Magical Melissa. Magical Melissa, Tierra, Tropical Tierra. Tropical Tierra, Anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, Tropical Tierra. Tropical Tierra, Anxious Anna. Anxious Anna, Bouncing Brian. Bouncing Brian, ah! Ah! All right, all right. Let's get into this even a little bit more. Um, very important. I want you to grab some water and make sure you have some nearby because I want to make sure you're staying hydrated for your vocal cords because we may warm up. We will in a second. And I want to make sure we understand that our vo voice is very important. Not only do we want to be heard and understood, but to make sure our vocal cords are building that mucus so that we were able to make sounds. And I know, gross, right? But it's actually what helps us. So we're not like dry, uh, we, we don't have that dry voice, we don't have that tension as much. So take a sip. I'm gonna need to refill in just a moment. And now let's look at that word fully. Let's look at that word fully. And hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, this will work. All right. Da, 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 da. So we're talking about fully here. And let me make sure. See, there we go. All right. Talking about fully and not this fully. Not this Foley, although one of my favorite Foley's, but this Foley. And back before movies had sound, there was this era of something called silent movies. Did they mean movies didn't have sound at all? No, in fact, they actually had accompanying sound that was live or pre-recorded on a phonograph playing alongside. Actually, one of my favorite things they do, well, they still do, um, but next year, is there's this noir festival in San Francisco at the Castro, and they will actually take a live organ and play alongside the old movies, a restored one. So it's like a big piano. So it actually is part of this like live experience. Now, back before then, um, movies had sound. What happened was they actually started experimenting with this idea of putting them into the movie itself. And Universal Pictures, started doing this. Yes, that same Universal that makes movies today. And they really just like they were experimenting, which is what we're going to do today. And Jack Foley is actually one of those people that just decided to volunteer because that's what they asked for and start to create sounds with other people. And that method was actually not coined till about officially till about the 60s. So you actually could have a Foley department and what we carry into today. So let me make sure I got this here before we move on. Da, da, da. All right. And Miss Tierra, did you have a question? I did actually just, uh, Mr. Ryan, you said that uh, they used to make sounds with phonographs and I haven't heard of what that is before. No worries, no worries. I'm getting ahead of myself. A phonograph is actually, well, it's, I want to consider it like, um, think of it like a record and speaker, that sort of thing. Yeah. And I just wanted to show you an image of actually one of the Foley studios that we have today. And from Skywalker Sound itself, yes, that same Skywalker from Star Wars, um, they started off by just finding sounds and creating. And the Foley stage it here, I'm going to actually just read it from here. It's a very specific custom recording environment with lots of empty space and every imaginable surface. Now that's very important because if you're walking in the sand versus walking in the dirt versus walking in the street, they have all those types of surfaces available. In fact, they have all, all kinds of different shoes and feel and rubber. 
And this, um, it's Skywalker Sound. They work in a team where there's usually two Foley artists performing and one person recording or a mixer in the booth who is actually almost like directing the recording itself. And they're all paying attention and really listening. So they have thousands of props surrounding them. And the job involves a lot of how do we figure that out? So imagine you're looking at a recording and you have to make sure, okay, how does this puppet eat? How does this puppet walk? How does this bunny hop? Well, they're going to figure that out. Do they have any idea how they're going to do it? Maybe, but part of the fun of, it, fun of it is in creating it. And let me escape out of this for just a moment. And, and I'm saying, and a lot, my friends, one of the cool things about it is when sound is, when you create sound and that soundscape of environment, people really believe it. Because if you start to buy into it and commit, then people believe it. In fact, in, I believe 19, oh my goodness, I had this right, 1938, there was a radio play called War of the Worlds. And as it played, people actually believed that we were having an alien invasion. Yeah, imagine that. Because they created the scenario where you had news, a live broadcast that was interrupted momentarily. So if you set it up with all the sound effects, people will really buy into it. There was no alien invasion that I know of. It was before my time, so I'm sorry. But now what I need you to do, I'm gonna need your help. So let me pull this up one more time. And I'm gonna drop a quarter every time I say, pull this up one more time, all right, friends? So give me one moment. And we're actually gonna pause for just a sec, Miss Anna. All right, friends, and I'm gonna open up our fully workbook just to go right back to it so we can go along because I'm talking too much here. So right now, I wanna take a look at what's actually in our, our activity book and let me maximize this instead. All right, so this month's theme is Foley and all about creating sounds, recreating and performing sounds for different shows and all types of media. So we're going to be tapping into our imaginations, warm up, warm up in just a second, and creating sounds for a story we're going to be crushing together. Creating, crushing, same thing. So what I need you to do, I know we just paused, but I need you to stay on camera. Go find some things to make sounds with. Go, leave, get out of here. If you need to pause, though, please, my friends at home, do so. And for whatever reason, if you have things, perfect. Thank you, Miss Melissa. Make sure you have a space and ability to clean up. And if you're like Mr. Brian and you're experimenting with different things, make sure it doesn't get into your keyboard and into your computer, because that's not fun. And I'll play some appropriate music in the background here. Let's see here, let's see here. No, I won't, I'm just gonna wait. That's my brother's <laughs> wedding song. It's, it's amazing. Love it. All right, friends, give me a thumbs up if we're good. We good? We good. Awesome. All right. So we're going to have our campfire story in just a moment. But before we do, I just want to warm up our brains and really start to think as we go through, um, just say yes. All right. So everyone repeat after me. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. 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 So I want to channel because here at the Queen Industry, we're all about the body, the voice and the imagination. And it's no less important here. So I want us to just warm up just a little bit here. So I want you right now, put your hands on your belly, put your hands on your belly. And that muscle that controls breathing is right above our belly button, below our ribs. It's called the diaphragm. Can we say that word diaphragm? Diaphragm. Diaphragm. All right. And I want you to take a big deep breath in, fill up your belly with air and just give a big exhale. And if you feel some tension in your, in your shoulders, just shake them out, shake them out. The only thing that should be moving is that belly. And one more time, fill it up like a balloon, big deep breath in and exhale. Good, and this one last time, take a big deep breath in. And this time when you exhale, just hiss it out, hiss all that air out with that one breath. 
And when you can't anymore, breathe normally. We don't need anyone passing out. So take a big deep breath in and just hiss it out, my friends. Hiss out that air. Excellent. And when you can't anymore, just shake it out. Just shake it out. Breathe normally. And what I need you to do right now is stick out your tongue. Huh? Open your eyes big. Huh? And put up your paws like this. Huh? And show me your lion face as big as you can. Huh? And when I say actor neutral, I just want you to go back to normal. Put your hands at your side. Actor neutral. Let that go. Excellent. And uh, just kidding. Lion face. Huh? Excellent. Uh, let that go. Huh? Actor neutral. Excellent. And now reach into that imaginarium of your imagination and pull out your drama lemon. Look at that lemon. Hear me, but look at that lemon. And I want you to say, hello, lemon. Hello, lemon. I'm going to eat you. I'm going, I'm going to, eat to eat you. And I want you to bite into this lemon. <gasps> Except it is the most sour lemon in the universe. Drop that lemon. Scrunch up your face, scrunch up your hands, scrunch up your shoulders, get nice and small, and as small as you can in your smallest voice, say, why, Mr. Brian, why? Why, why Mr. Mr. Brian, why? why? Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, let that go, actor neutral. And now put your hands on your hips, puff out your chest, chin up, shoulders back, point to the sky in one direction, either direction, and I want you to give me, this is your superhero pose, so with this pose, I want you to give me a tra-la-la. So everyone, tra-la-la. Tra-la-la. Excellent. Other direction. And give me a tra-la-la. Tra-la-la. Excellent. Let that go. And now I want you to get some evil fingers here. Tilt your head down. Give me a nice evil smile. Hunch shoulders forward. And give me a nice hee-hee-hee. <laughs> Give me a ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. And I want all of you to give me your own evilest of evil laughs. Go. <laughs> very nice, very evil. And let that go. Actor neutral, actor neutral. All right, my friends. And now repeat after me. Ba. 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 Ba ba b, ba ba b, ba ba b, bye b bo, bye b bo, bye b bo, bo b do, bo b do, do. Give me a da, da da. Give me a da da, da da da. Give me a darling, you look marvelous. Darling, you look marvelous. And I want you to feel your belly and really stretch out the goo. Give me a guh. Guh. Guh, guh. Really stretch out. Give me a guh, guh, gee. Guh, guh, gee. go. Go. Go, gee, goo. Excellent. And give me a ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Ha ha ha. And give me a nya. Nya. Give me a nya nya. Nya nya nya. Me a nya nya. Me. Nya nya nya. Me me. Give me a me. Give me a me, me, me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Give me a ra. Ra, ra. Give me a ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. Give me a ra, ri, ro. Ra, ri, ro, ro. Give me a ro, ri, ro. Ro, ri, ro. Give me a rhyme, ra, ri, raggy. Ra, 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 raggy. Give me a Saw. 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 Give me a saw saw. 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 Give me a saw saw see. Saw saw see. see. And give me your biggest saucy. 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 
Give me a ta. 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 Give me a ta ta. Ta ta ta. Give me a ta ta tea. Ta ta tea. Ta ta tea. Give me a tai tea to. Tai tea to. To tea to. To tea to. Give me a wah. Give me a wah wah. Give me a wah wah. Why we woe? Why we woe? Woe we woo. Woe we woo. And give me your most excited woohoo! Woohoo! Excellent, my friends. And now what I want us to do, I want us to think right now, just we're going to say yes to this activity as much as we can. So I just want you to repeat after me. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Because every idea is a good idea. And especially in Foley, we want to channel this idea of improv or that first thought, best thought. And improv is all about exploring that idea and just saying yes. It's acting without a script. It's creating without a script. And especially in this case, we're going to experiment a lot. We want to channel that. So right now, I want us to uh, play a game called Three Things. And Three Things works like this. I'm gonna call for a category or the moderator is gonna call for a category. And I'm gonna say, I need three things that you would find in your backpack. And I'm gonna call on any raised hand. And that person is gonna say three things. They're either gonna be real or made up. And it's up to you to decide. All right. And then after that, we're all gonna put up our hands and say three things. Three so, things. Three things. things. All right, so I need three things, why not, that you would find in your backpack. And I need a volunteer for this. I need a volunteer for this. Miss Madison. A stapler. And uh, let's, I'm sorry, let's all repeat that. A stapler. Stapler. A stapler. And a second thing. A water bottle. A water bottle. A water bottle. A, water bottle. a baby octopus. A baby octopus. A baby octopus. A baby octopus. Three things. Three things. Three things. Great things. Great things. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And would someone else like to call the category? Would someone else like to run the category? Three things that you would what? Three things that you would what? Miss Tierra. Three things you would take on a picnic. Three things that you would take on a picnic. Miss Melissa. Three things that you would take on a picnic. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. Uh, blanket. A blanket. A blanket. Uh, LaCroix. 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 And everyone, three things. Three things. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And Miss Anna, could you moderate this one? Three things that you would want. Three things that you might cook for lunch. Three things that you might cook for lunch. All right, and who have I not called on yet? Miss, Miss Madison? Miss Tierra. Miss Tierra. <laughs> Miss Tierra. Called out. I was, I, was pointing to, I was pointing up to the box. Well, uh, okay. I think she got a turn. Miss, Miss Tierra. Uh, a bean burrito. A, a bean burrito. burrito. Uh, chana masala. Chana masala. Chana masala. Oh. Red lentil soup. Red lentil, Red lentil soup. soup. Three, Three things. things. Three things. <laughs> Excellent. Give yourselves a silent applause here. Give yourself a silent applause here. And before we move on anymore, um, I'm going to take a look at our actual activity box. So if you have it with you, cool. If not, it's going to be in the screen here. And we're going to examine some vocabulary here. So on page three at the top, we're going to go a little out of order, but I just want to go over some vocabulary that we'll be talking about. Hey friends. All right, before we move on, I just want to explore some of the vocabulary that we're going to be talking about. And instead of me talking and you hearing my voice all the time, I'm going to ask for some helpers here. So can I have, I'm just going to go down the list here. Miss Melissa, can I have you read the vocab from Foley to Soundscape? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh. Foley, creating, recreating, and performing sounds for various types of shows and programming. Foley artist, a person who creates, 
the Foley and gets paid for it. Um, Jack Foley, creator of the sound FX technique known as Foley. Sound effects. Any artificial reproduction of sound or sounds intended to accompany action and supply realism in the theater, radio, television, and motion pictures. To where, Mr. Brian? Oh, to soundscape. Great. Soundscape. The collective sounds that make up our entire story's environment from beginning to middle to end. And that is actually going to be our end goal in a, in a little bit at the, well, I guess at the very end. And we're going to also explore that with an activity after this, exploring beginning, how a story starts, the middle, the problem or conflict in a story that takes us on our journey. So whatever that is, we have an ending to it as well, how the journey ends, whether or not we have a happy ending or a sad ending, we want to deal with the middle. And here we find out exactly how that middle part is resolved, that problem or whatever that surprise happens. All right. And, and Ms. Madison, can I have you read from post-production? to radio play. Yes, sir. Post-production, sound work that is done after an initial recording. Feet, one of the three categories of Foley. Foley recording studios have a variety of different types of shoes and floor surfaces, so artists can recreate steps from nearly any shoe on any surface. Movement, one of the three categories of Foley, the sound of movement. Specifics, one of the three categories of Foley. Specifics are sounds that are not movement or footsteps, like a phone ringing or a door creaking. Radio play, a play written for radio. Excellent. And as we saw in that photo before, uh, it's Skywalker Sound. That is how the Foley Studio works. They have all those different props and floors and all the things to create those sound effects. And a lot of the time, sometimes just finding stuff, exploring, and just seeing what might work. And other genres that work, um, I mean, everything you can create sound effects for, but besides the radio play, even podcasts, because the main focus is you have to listen. In films, the movies, that War of the Worlds broadcast is especially famous because it was actually the sound effects that tricked people into believing it was a real alien invasion taking place, but it wasn't. All right, and Ms. Tierra, can I have you go from sound artist to non-diegetic? Yes, so a sound artist, another word for Foley artist. Tongue twister, a phrase that can be difficult to articulate and meant to help improve diction. Dialogue, when characters are speaking. Diegetic, any sound that exists in the world of the story. Characters can hear it. Non-diegetic, any sound that does not exist in the world of the story, characters can't hear it. So it can be narration or soundtrack added. Thank you. So it's important to consider these things because as the Foley artists, you wanna work not only with the whole team, the producers, the writers, the directors, the actors, but what you see and focus on is your creation. So you can decide in this world, does this sound exist? And then you wanna consider also like, is this something that I wanna add in to just paint my brush into this world of sound. And Miss Anna, can I have you go from three categories to diaphragm? Yes, three categories. There are three categories of Foley sound, feet, movement, and specific, which Miss Madison already talked about. Breath support, making sure we take breaths to support our voices when needed. Water, to produce sound properly, we want to be hydrated with water. It can take up to one hour to make sure our voice is properly hydrated after drinking water. Diaphragm, your big breathing muscle at the bottom of your lungs. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Anna. And everyone, take a sip of water. Take a sip of water. Salute. Salute. I'm going to grab some more. All right. So we talked about what Foley is, but in a moment, this next activity, I want to play with this idea of beginning, middle, and end. And as we're doing this and any story, we want to consider those five W's. Who is in the story? What is going on? Where it's happening? When it's happening? And support it with a why. So if you have a script, especially Foley artists are going to examine it to find those clues that might hint or steer us in a direction of what might be the case. And sometimes there's only a few clues 
But either way, it's up to you as a Foley artist to decide. Channel that imagination. And if anything else, say yes and try it out. And you'll have fun on the way too. All right. And yeah, let's, um, before I move on, I'm going to close this out for just a second because we're not going to need to. Oh, I'm not screen sharing. There we go. Is it possible to create a soundscape that fools people? Yes. Could it be some trial and error? Yes. Is it fun? Yes, I promise. Is it messy? Probably, but you all sign waivers, so that's okay. Right? They sign waivers? Oh my goodness. All right. Um, they will if they come in person for summer camp. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. All right. And beginning, middle, and end. So I just want a beginning to a story, a middle that's a problem and an end to resolve it. But but you know what, let's, let's do the first round and then I'll give the second layer to it. So once upon a time, there was, I need a beginning to a story, something that introduces our setting, our who, what, where, it could be any one of those. Miss Madison, can you give me the beginning to a story? Once upon a time, there was a small duckling named Romeo. Once upon a time, there was a small duckling named Romeo. Miss Madison, can you make sure you remember that? I'm going to try my best. Small duckling named Romeo. Miss Melissa, can you give me a middle, a problem or surprise that happens to that story? Um, Romeo lived at the foot of a mountain and saw smoke coming from the volcano. All right. And remember that, Miss Melissa. Miss Tierra, can you give us an ending to the story? I'm going to say yes. So, Romeo. Love it. Blew with all of his might back to the pond where he came from to get help and escape the volcano. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do some sound <laughs> applause for that. And my friends, even if you only remember like some of it or paraphrase it, now what I want you to do, take a few seconds and I want you to add a sound to this. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this out. All three of you, and Miss Anna and I are gonna be the audience. All three of you, shut off your cameras. And the focus here, just like Foley artists, is to really focus, listen. And if you believe it and we can hear you, the next person will go, and then the next person will go, and we'll have our very own first soundscape with story structure. All right, so you know what? Let me give you, let me say pause right now for right now, Miss Anna. All right, my friends, and now a very special presentation of our very first beginning, middle, end story, soundscape. Once upon a time, there was a little duckling named Romeo. Quack, 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 quack. Romeo lived at the foot of a hill. And he saw smoke coming from the volcano. So Romeo flew with all his might back to the pond to escape the volcano. Very nice, very nice. The end. Turn your cameras on. That was so uh, good. That was, that was lovely. And can I ask right now, uh, Miss Tierra, Miss Madison, Miss Melissa, did I at any point before this say prepare this? No. Was it no. a little terrifying? Just a little bit. For a second, and then <laughs> I remember to say yes. Yes. Yeah. It was and I feel supported. <laughs> yeah, I felt supported by my ensemble. Yeah. Another key word. Thank you, Ms. Madison. Ensemble is all about working together as a team. And very important that we're working together to mix, match, and really listen to all those sounds to create because it's all about experimenting and having fun. And Ms. Anna, like, I, like I'm going to say this now, that sounded great. I was surprised in the best way by some of the sounds that came up because I didn't know what to expect. But, you know, I like... It just came like the water splashing. Miss Melissa, the, the sounds that you created in there, I'm just like that, Miss Madison, yes, you too. But that was 
that was fantastic. All right. I was just love it. Love it. And being able to hear it clearly and just saying yes, like Ms. Tierra said, fantastic. All right. And I don't want to take up more of the time. So what I want to do now is I want to just explore one more thing, because when we have our actual day, we're going to take our story and we're going to actually be able to just insert our own sounds. And before we do that, I want to just give you an example of some of the work and some of the artists that are actually working today. So let me pull this up here and I have it for you. So what we have are some of the Foley artists that are actually still working today. Let me ask, Miss Melissa, if I were to say to you, I need you to create the sound of a puppet eating, what would you say to me? A puppy eating? A puppet, like a puppet. A, a puppet eating. Um, I would say, get me some Legos. Get me some Legos? So one of the one of the Foley artists, one of the top Foley artists working today is named Shelly Roden, and she works at Skywalker Sound. And what she did was she had the task of trying to figure out how one of the puppets, one of the puppet creatures actually needed to eat some oatmeal. Yeah. And so what she actually did was, well, you know what, instead of telling you, let me show you. And I'll make sure to share the sound this time. Play this clip for you and play it up. And this was all, and especially in animation and puppetry, this was all done, created. So a pu the puppet's not actually gonna be eating. So they actually had to make the sound and play the video and match some sound that fit, that felt right to them. Honoring the script, the who, the what, the where, the when, the why, and matching everything about it. So let's just take a look and I'm gonna make sure I have this loud enough. And fingers crossed. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to stop the share for just a moment. Mr. So Brian, you, that was yucky. <laughs> wasn't it though? And oh, the other thing too is my friends, when you're making sounds, make sure you have a designated area that's okay with your parents. And you might have that garden tray that was provided in your, in your activity book, but make sure that you have that space so you can actually make the sound safely and easy cleanup. All right. And for that sound, what Shelly did was actually watch the video over and over and not just that section, but you got to know the whole story to make sure what's going on and who your characters are. And what she did was she actually took a chamois, a towel, and her hand and just slopped it on, slopped it on with different textures and different gloves in that. And for that sound of it hitting the floor, it was just different heights that to explore what felt right for that moment. And that sound of the oatmeal being chewed and the breath was actually Shelly's own voice recorded as she did it, yeah. And now that, well, that's one of my, like, I love the messy stuff. So you're just gonna have to deal with that guys, my friends. And one other thing too, though, is what you can do that's really cool is in creating a soundscape, you can layer multiple sounds. So remember we talked about before, you usually have two people. Well, you might actually have some more or you might actually have several to help create layers of sound. So for this last clip I wanna show you before we wrap up is, Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say pause for just one moment here. All right, my friends. And for the next clip that we're going to share today, we're actually going to explore that idea of layering our sounds and making things specific. All right. For this next clip, it's from something called Watership Down. And our Foley artist actually took the idea of 14 different rabbits and gave them each different personalities. Meaning some of the rabbits, it was decided, had a different speed. Others had a limp. Others were slower. Others were more energetic. And they took all these 14 different, uh, <laughs> all these different creatures and layered them all together to create this sound. Come on. Come on, 
This is a nice surprise, Hazel. I, I said we go deeper into the trees and hide. No, 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 we have to cross the river here. Cross it? Maybe some of us could cross it, but you and Bluebell are worn out. If Fiber says we cross here, we cross here. They're here! I see them! Faster! 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 Get them! We're never out on them now. We're done for. Go on, get them! <laughs> All right. And my friends, what they did was, yeah, let's give them a silent applause for Miss Rebecca Heathcote from Pinewood Studios. Now, while I talked about the different speeds and energy, the other thing is the different surfaces. So what they'd actually do is they have different kinds of dirt and different kinds of gloves and different kinds of material to try and match what sounded right for our creatures. All right. And stopping here. And the last thing I want to do, my friends, is actually take a look at our activity book one last time, because at the very end, at the very end, what we All right, my friends, and what we have here now is our story that we're going to be working with. And everything that you see in green is a sound effects opportunity for you to create. Now, from that scavenger hunt list provided, or you can use anything at home. Your job is now to be the Foley artist and creator. And in fact, let's, uh, Miss Anna, if you could scroll back up just a little bit. We are going to need some characters. I want to just read through this without the sound effects, without the sound effects. So I need a narrator. I need a narrator. And I, uh, you know what, Miss Anna? Yeah, I need a news reporter. I'm going to give that to Miss uh, Tierra. I need a live reporter, Miss Madison. I need a translator and kid one. Miss Melissa, could you help me out with that? Thank you. All right, and this is a story we're gonna be working with and let's give it a go. Once upon a time before the internet, it was a dark and eerie night. It started to rain. Every night, my family would love to listen to the radio together. They were listening to this commercial. This jingle song was so catchy. Until one day, there was breaking news sound on the radio. There was the breaking news sound on the radio. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to tell you that aliens have landed at the White House. We go live to the scene and our live reporter. What are we hearing? To put it simply, aliens. Aliens? Yes, aliens. And they have been watching our planet for many years and have decided that the adults were not doing a good job keeping it clean and protecting it. And just like that, the aliens took all the parents away. And because of that, kids were now in charge. The world was a better place, a nicer place, a cleaner place. And because of that, the aliens that had been watching us for many years had suddenly seen the potential for the human race and cried tears of happiness from their armpits because they no longer saw the ugliness of the past. They saw the beauty of the future. One alien spoke to the human race. They said, I've made a huge mistake. And as a result of all this, finally, in the end, the aliens returned the parents and gave an impassioned speech about how important it was to be more like kids. They, they said, kids are awesome, be more like them. And the aliens left. And ever since that day, things changed for the better because the children were the future. And just like that, the aliens were gone as if they were never here. And the moral of the story is... And I'm going to let you all decide, you at home, you get to decide what the moral of the story is. But for right now, Miss Anna, what do you think the moral of the story is? I think the moral of the story is that grown-ups get in the way of kids achieving greatness way too often. It's a good moral. It's a good moral. All right, let's continue. Good story, right? Almost felt real. The way you made it, you the way you made those sounds? Almost. What did they say? I said sometimes <laughs> stories are true. Hashtag metaphors. They just disappeared. The end, or is it? 
All right. And fantastic job, my readers. Fantastic job, actors. Now that you've experimented and got really a taste here, go out, explore, find some. If you want to create sound effects for every single one, cool. If you want to wait till the day of to find some stuff, cool. Just try it out and have fun doing it. And let's check out for right now. So, um, Miss Madison, Magical Madison, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good wait no i <laughs> i tell everyone all of my students that they're not allowed to say good or bad because it's not really a feeling um i'm feeling peaceful cool thank you miss melissa I will, oh, oh i'm sorry go ahead pass it off pass I, it off i thought i was gonna pass it miss melissa <laughs> i am feeling leafy Miss Tierra. I am feeling stretched. Miss Anna. I am feeling wonderful. Well, Mr. Brian. I am feeling. I almost said good. I was trying to find every word but good. But I am feeling ecstatic right now. Thank you all for your time. And oh, I'm sorry. How about you at home? How are you feeling? Don't say good. What kind of good? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Very nice. All right, everyone. Thank you again. Put your hands in the middle. And we are going to say Foley on three. One, two, three. Foley! Awesome. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.